what's going on gang welcome back to the channel well today's video was going to be about the zy6 but it is raining outside and truthfully what's the point of going through all that if we can't ride the bike i mean i went and picked up some variated weights well actually i had these variated weights the last time we attempted to do the tuning on the bike but the brakes hanging up and all that just kind of made me kill that video and ended it where we did but yeah we got some 10 and some 12 gram weights now this bike uh i think i ended up putting 15 in it guys like i said i'm no engine guru and it's been a long time since i did any tuning i mean like 2015 16 yeah we went the wrong way with the variator weights we went up in weight when we should have went down but okay guys you know this video is not about this bike let me show you guys what the uh video is about okay here's the bike everybody came to see this is a 2012 vip future champion i mean and from just looking at it right now guys this thing is not in bad condition i literally just picked this bike up about 30 minutes ago drug it all the way home in the rain so you know give me a pat on the back for that i drug it home in the rain i'm wet and we're gonna jump right into this thing and see can we get it going now previous owners state that the uh, bike ran when parked it just needed a new battery and the kickstart is broken okay gang all engines need four things to run they need air fuel spark and compression you got to have those four things for your bike to run now you can have low compression as long as you got fuel air and spark it will run now as far as the spark you got to make sure your stator is good which is on this side over here behind there that engine cover if your stator is good and your cdi is good you're going to have spark 90 percent of the time now the biggest problem with these scooters man is the carburetor well actually not the carburetor the fuel this fuel we have with the ethanol or whatever they got going on with all those new additives in it these things get gummed up amazingly quick man i'm telling you almost every bike i pick up in this condition now i got some basket cases with some other problems but in this condition that sat for a long time or i mean you can let a bike sit for two weeks guys and the carburetor will gum up i've seen it happen so yeah most time it's just a carburetor you got to take the carburetor out pull the bowl clean it stick it back on and usually that solves your problem now another issue i see a lot with the uh scooters these chinese scooters is the kill switch the kill switch goes bad guys because the soldering on the back of the switch inside the circuitry I mean sometimes they're just not you know soldered on very good they fall off we saw that with the uh zy6 here you know i got stranded out there and luckily i was able to tap my um my start solenoid right there and get me back to the house so yeah that's why we replaced the uh the switch up there so yes your kill switch can stop you from going now another issue i've run into before on these gy6 guys is the air filter some reason people do not either do not know they have to take this cover off and clean the air filter you know wash it out spray a little um wd-40 on it and put it back in i've seen them clogged up so bad especially being out here in vegas this little tube here even though it does have a screen that fine dust will get right in there and clog that filter up and it will run like poop but besides those couple little things guys if you make sure you have air fuel spark and compression your gy6 is kind of like a chevy you know and a ford it will run but you know if you don't take care of it you'll be like a ford and you'll be pushing this thing down the road okay gang while the battery's charging let's go ahead and just get into this thing and take the seat bucket out we got uh looks like two 10 millimeters down here in the dirt and two phillips up here i've never seen them have phillips up there before usually those are you know right here and right there but okay all right let's see something blocking this one. Oh, we got monies we got monies we got what 50 cents oh we made 60 cents back on this deal already man cool beans we already into getting the money back all right, got that one off. Let's grab a Phillip bit. I mean, do I? I probably should put some gloves on. This thing is so dusty. All right, got those two off. Let's just take the bucket out real quick. Oh, 
hold on, I forgot. There's one more screw. This thing's definitely not been molested, guys, because people usually, if they've been in here before, they don't put this screw back in. So, I think I got lucky, guys. And the guy said he was the original owner, so. Cool beans. That's Is that the last bolt? No. What the heck is holding us now? Is that one in the front? No. So what is holding us? Now I'm gonna tell you one thing guys. I think this bike has definitely never ever been messed with because it has all the screws. You know how rare that is for me to pick up a bike and it has all the screws in it? Okay, get that one out of there. Alright, that should be it. Now these screws are not bolted into the uh, seat bucket, but I think they may have been stabbing it in the side. Yep. Okay, let's get this thing out of there. Alrighty. Set that right there. Alrighty, man, look at the dust in here. I'm probably going to regret this, but let's blow it out a little bit. Just in case there's any black widows in here hiding out. Uh, if this camera had smell o vision I sound muffled because I got my uh, nose inside of my shirt. Uh, you'll be smelling what I'm smelling right now. I smell dog poop. Now this guy had about five pit bulls in his yard. You know, the vicious looking type. But friendly as a chihuahua. If a chihuahua can be friendly. But yeah gang, it stinks. <laughs> okay, let's see if we got any gas in here. Oh my god. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it is full. And it don't smell too bad. Hold on, let's grab a little tube. There we go. Let's just suck a little bit of this out and see what it looks like. It don't stink. It does not stink. So. Hmm. Look at that fuel, guys. That is clear. That fuel is not old. So, uh, you say he ain't ran this thing in a year. Ain't no way. With the fuel we got now, that fuel will be black. So, I'm starting to question. Okay, well, I see, a, I see a problem. We have a massive vacuum leak right there on this one. Run into a lot of fuel pump, and our vacuum line is off there. So, could that be our problem? reason he said it doesn't run anymore he couldn't get any vacuum because his vacuum line was busted look at that okay let's take that off that side and the hose is not petrified so maybe we can just trim a little off each end and put that back on huh. crazy that's crazy that fuel looks really good and it does not stink at all okay so Let's go ahead and get that air box off guys and um i'm looking at it now we blew the dust off that carburetor and that carburetor looks pretty freaking new but there's a lot of dust on the hardware so i don't know guys maybe this car this thing was just wasn't abused and you know and it just got dust on it i don't know so let's get the uh intake off well, the air cleaner and uh, let's see if we can get some fuel to this thing from its own tank and see will it run. I just realized that my camera was on time lapse so you guys probably heard me saying a whole bunch of stuff but didn't know what I was saying okay well well happened was we sprayed some uh, carb cleaner inside the carb to see will it run 
the gas in the tank for some reason is good um i trimmed the hose off just now uh back where those pieces were broken i don't know how far the time lapse went back i'm not gonna know till i look at the camera so just in case i had this thing in time lapse longer than i thought i did let me re-explain okay we took the seat bucket out this quarter panel on this side decided to fall off uh i did break two tabs but oh well it is what it be i found out this thing is broken had a little crack back there at the back that's a common spot for them to crack at uh all the the other tabs are good now i did break a tab off of this black panel right here that's right there but no big deal easy fix easy fix easy fix okay now i did spray some carb cleaner inside the carb and it fired then we heard a noise inside of the crankcase well the kickstarter case so i decided to pull that case off to see what that noise was and that's when i realized we were in time lapse so okay let me show you guys why I'm pulling this cover right quick. So, spray a little fluid in there and hit the button. All right, we got some type of grind that's going on. So, now you guys are caught up. Let's go ahead and just pull this cover. No more time lapse. Let's pull this thing in live, in live time, in real time, I mean. Let's get this thing off. Probably better if you guys can see something, huh? Okay. Well, I don't see anything right off the bat that would be concerning. Uh-oh. Uh Hopefully we don't have a bad crank. But whatever that noise was, it didn't sound too good. Now, previous on the stakes, the kick start, uh, the kickstarter was bad. Well, kickstarter was working for me a second ago yeah see There's nothing wrong with that that's good hmm do we got a blue it up motor oh. let me get something to hold that bendix in place and we're going to try to uh start it all right well maybe we should turn the key back on here we go Here's a key on. Well, what's going on? Okay. Let me uh, tie this other handle up. Evidently, the uh, it's not starting with that handle. So, let's grab a zip tie real quick. Let's put it on this sucker. If you don't know anything about scooters, guys, you got to squeeze the brakes before the starter will engage. So, all right. All right, that's zip tied. Now, let's try it now. Should only have to press the button. Oh, where are my other screws at? Oh, there we go. Heavy. Now, you got to hold the end of this bend deck so <laughs> it don't jump out of there. Give it another little touch of starting fluid. I don't hear that grinding, so yeah, maybe it was just a Kickstarter. Alrighty, hit the button again. Let's go. This thing runs and it sounds pretty good. So what is that grinding? What was that noise? I don't see anything in here. Or something's touching maybe uh, a gear here wasn't kicking back but if it wasn't kicking back because this gear here I don't know if you guys can see that or not this gear here 
it jumps out and it engages a gear here now you know what yeah i think that was well, that stuff Ooh, can't talk i think that is our problem guys uh yeah as you can see it's shiny on the edges where it shouldn't be shiny so that means this gear here was uh just skipping across that gear there oh yeah now i see it yeah there's little shiny spots right there right there right there so maybe this thing just needs to be greased i don't know but okay gang let's go ahead and pull that carburetor and clean it really good i'm gonna play with this cover real quick see can we get it back on and where it won't make that horrible noise real quick the that belt in there that belt is good it's still soft not dry rotted not cracked guys i think i scored on this one i mean for what i got it for which i'm not telling you i basically hit a home run if this bike can be fixed with the cost of nothing you know so i'm gonna throw a couple screws back in this cover real quick now i just greased up the uh kickstarter so hopefully that took care of the issue all right gotta use both hands where is my drill right there let's put this thing back together real quick why is that screw in that hard just now did i put it in the wrong spot probably did yep I don't know, maybe I cross traded that sucker when I pulled it out, but it's tight. Let's put that one back in. I'm only gonna put a couple in. Alright, let's get another shot of the old Berryman's. Let's try to crank it again. Ew. <laughs> so, no, I definitely didn't fix the issue. So. I don't know what it is guys why is that thing sticking out so freaking far i don't know you know what let's make sure that's it i'm gonna pull the gear out so pull the gear out and then got nothing to grind against right now we don't want to there we go come on out of there big boy okay gear is out let's put it back on let's see if we still got that noise i'm cross trading all the boats today Two in, that should be enough. All right, a little bare mints. That carb definitely needs to be cleaned because it should start pulling on its own, but it's not. Well, that was our issue. So, we gotta figure out why this thing is grinding washer here i'm not sure but i don't think it's supposed to have this washer here i can't remember guys i don't mess with a lot of 50s you know i flip a lot of them but using the kickstand the kickstarter cover is either good or it's bad and i just get rid of it but oh let's put it back on with this out and see does that take care of our issue That would be crazy if that was the issue. So that would mean I I can tell somebody been in here. This thing has been wiped. You can see the white marks. So it's not completely unmolested. Somebody has definitely been in here. Now yeah, now these things usually have a washer, but not not that thick, and that's that's thick enough to cause the issue. So let's get it back in. Now get these back in guys what i usually do is take the kickstarter and press it all the way down 
You got to get this little piece right here. It's kind of hard to do when I'm on camera. See, I set the gear in. You got to have that little doodab right there facing in between those two little poles right there. See it there? And I just let it spin itself back in. And that's it. So, okay. Let's put this thing back on without that piece. Let's see if that's our issue. One bolt. And uh, two bolts. There we go. Scored a little Barry Men's again. And if anybody know anybody at Barry Men's, tell me, hey, I use your crap all the time. So if you want to sponsor me a couple cans, I won't be mad at you. All right, let's hit it. Well, that was our problem, guys. <laughs> okay, that was our grinding. So. I don't know where that washer just went. It just went in my... I guess it figured it better get out of here before I throw it across the room. All right, guys. So, now, fix one problem. The starter was uh, dragging. So, let's see if the kickstart works now. One kick. Or it's this thing to stay running. Let's see if you get a little squirt in it now nah, we got to pull that carb so let me go ahead and pull that carb guys let's get to cleaning this thing and shoot this is gonna be this is the easiest will it run on a scooter i ever done in my life Okay, gang got the carb off. Let's go ahead and pop this bowl off and see what it looks like now I think the bowl is leaking because I have a little puddle of fluid smells like gas up under the carburetor right there So I think it's leaking, but it's really no big deal guys because over here I have a new carb Oh new er carb I actually have two of them I took I, I robbed a bowl off this one and stuck it on something else, but yeah. We do have an option. So let's just at least grab the one with the good bowl on it and put it to the side. Actually we just need the gasket off of it. Or maybe just switch the whole thing out, man. You know? It really don't matter. What am I looking for? My drill. Here we go. Now guys, you probably shouldn't be using the impact. To do anything that I'm doing but uh, I've been doing this for a while I've had an impact attached to my hand for at least since 2008 and I kind of know how to use them so if it's your first time using the impact do not use it on anything that I'm doing until you know what you're doing so I right, got fuel in it fuel pumps working really not that dirty got a little bit of debris in there up in the corners but not that bad not that bad okay now i can tell our pilot jet is definitely clogged you can see it from here now our main jet is probably clogged too because when we revved it it didn't want to give it you know it didn't want to go so let's see let's grab a screwdriver you gotta look at it first time and find a screwdriver. Alright, let's pull this pilot jet first. Now guys, your pilot jet is what your uh what your vital idles off of. When you're not touching the throttle, it's just sitting there idling all by itself. That's this jet. Now this other jet, that's your main jet, and that is when you give the bike throttle, that's where it uh, sucks fuel from right there. So let's get this jet out. I had the proper wrench the other day, but I cleaned up. Now I can't find nothing. So all right, let's pull this jet out. Okay, so we 
you see any daylight through that thing. That's not clogged. Now this tube on the bottom of the jet with these little three holes in it. I don't know if you can see it there, focus. Well, there's, there's about what? It's three on that side, two on that side, three on that side. So three and two. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten holes in this emulsion tube. That's what this thing is called. It's the emulsion tube. Now, I really don't know the function of this. What I think it does is mixes the air and the fuel to give it a, like a, a better mixture before it goes into the engine. I don't know. I'm assuming. I'm guessing. So here's our pilot jet. Let's see. Is that thing clogged? Can't really see any daylight. Yeah. That thing's plugged. So... Uh, can we just first just try to blow it out sometimes these clogs are not that bad and you can just blow them out I know saw a little something come out of it huh and just like that guys let me see if I can find some type of light source so you can see okay let's just use my drill See that guys, you can see the light through the jet now. So hey, that was it, just a little blast of air. Now I'm gonna squirt a little Berryman's in it and both of these jets and try to clean them up. And uh, we're gonna put it back in, but I need to see if this gas here is any good. So, let me grab my lighter. I'm not gonna light all of that now. <laughs> Don't wanna burn down the shop. Just wanna see. Get a touch of it on the rag. And see will it burn. Yep. It burns. Good gas. Okay, so if it burns, it on the rag, it'll burn in the engine. So where is my bearman? There we go. Alright guys. Sorry I'm all over the place. This is was not a planned video, guys. Like I say I planned on doing something else, but it just didn't work out and it's still raining I don't know if you guys can hear but it is still raining so I'm just going to do something different let's see is that clean that any better yeah did I clog it back up I think I just clogged it back up guys yeah i did i kind of see daylight through it but you know something this jet looks a little weird that hole down the middle looks awfully big hold on let me grab something real quick and see if i can poke through this thing if a piece of this welding wire goes through here that hole is ginormous and truthfully it is looking ginormous when i look down that hole so if this goes through we got somebody over hold on yeah <laughs> yeah gang i don't know what size jet this is i really can't see it but it looks like somebody tried to bore this thing out like a big rock you shouldn't be seeing that much light and i can't the thing about this is I can still see dirt in there, so let me keep trying to clean this out and we'll stick it back in. I can't even read this. The size is right there, but dude, I can't see that. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, gang, I got both of the jets blowed out, so they look pretty good. Now, this jet size on this one is freaking humongous, but hey, we're just going to stick it back in there and see what it does. Now, uh, I am going to probably change out that carburetor bowl. I think it, I, I'm sure it was leaking because uh, I didn't spray that much Berryman's down there for to have a puddle like that, but you never know. Like a better safe than sorry, we don't want to burn down the shop. So don't take nothing to change this out. And besides, I know this accelerator pump on this carburetor is new, it's good, and still got fuel in it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> And it stinks so I'm about to check this accelerator pump too because I left fuel in this carburetor it's been sitting over there for a month so 
Let's take this off. All right, now to test your, oh, well, thank you. To test your uh, accelerator pump, guys, what you want to do is put a little fluid in the bowl. See, that bowl is clean. There's a little hole right there by that circle right there. And that's where it sucks in fuel and it squirts it out that hole there. And that hole runs up to that little brass piece to the right there. And it squirts it right down in your carburetor. And that's your accelerator pump. So a little bit in there. Just enough to squirt. Now slowly pump this thing and you'll see bubbles. Oh, this thing is already full. Okay. It's got fuel in it. So see where it's coming out. So okay, our accelerator pump is good on that end. Now what you want to do is right through this little hole here to clean the accelerator pump you know you can squirt a little fluid in there now sometimes if these things are uh, clogged up guys and you don't have an uh, ultrasonic cleaner like I have right here what you can do strip this carburetor all the way down I mean strip it strip it all the way down no plastics on it whatsoever inside and out diaphragm everything out of it and you can put it on the stove in uh, some boiling soapy water I mean, get the water hot as heck and put it in there and just let it sit there boil with soapy water, degreaser or something. You don't want to use too much degreaser because the greaser is corrosive to aluminum. It will eat into it. But yeah, that's what you can do to unclog this if you don't have an ultrasonic cleaner. Other than that, it's going to be pretty hard. And here's a little screwdriver fitting on it to try to get it out of there. But trust me, I've never gotten one out before. I've tried. Let's see this thing clear or not looks like it's gonna be clogged guys yep oh well we're gonna stick it back on anyway give it a shot and uh hopefully it frees itself up if not we'll switch out to this new carburetor over here i know that one's good so all right let me get this back together and i'll see you guys back over at the bike Okay, gang, I messed around and had the camera on time lapse again. I'm trying to get back in the house, man. It's cold out here. Okay, I got the car back on. It's all cleaned out. Now I um, had all the lines back on and the bowl is primed. So let's go ahead and stick this vacuum line back on and uh, see what it run this time. So, okay, everything's still on. Put the key on. We got a leak somewhere still. Oh man, okay. No bueno. Okay gang, I guess we're getting ready to switch to a new carburetor. Um, I can't see where it's leaking from. Oh yeah, I do. You know what? Dang it. I just stuck that bowl on that was on the meth rocket that was leaking on that side. That's where that bowl came from. That bowl came off the meth rocket. <laughs> okay. All right, let me turn this thing off, get that thing back on. Let's put another one. Okay, gang. Well, I didn't have the bowl on the carburetor completely straight. So I put it back on and it's not leaking. So. Let's go ahead and uh, give a couple pumps. Hit the button. Okay, wanting to start. I guess the accelerator pump is working. Guys, I've absolutely had it with this GoPro, man. The battery I just put on there. It died in 10 minutes. So it's, it's time to just like 
let GoPro go to the pasture. All right, I'm still pumping it. It's starting and not uh, staying running. Okay. Let's try to foot start this sucker. Kick start it. Oh, took our choke back up. I think that has nothing to do with it, but let's at least put it back on. the main jet is cleared and it's starting to run longer and longer and longer It's just cold, we need to warm up. Thing probably hadn't ran in a while. I mean, like old boy said. Alright, let's see what it'll run by itself with an idle. It's idling! Oh, we got both headlights, high beam and low beam. I know we got brake light because uh, I got this switch over here held. Let's cut that real quick. Let's idle this thing down a little bit. Yeah, that idle screw is all the way in. Should do all this when the bike gets warm, but this thing smells like warm dog poop now. Well, there you go, there you go, guys. Uh, literally just picked this thing up now, what an hour and a half ago, and it's running. I mean, it's gonna need some tuning, probably need a new spark plug. I haven't touched the spark plug, only thing I touched was the carburetor and shut it off only thing i touched was the carburetor guys i mean that was just too easy so okay gang well i'm going to go ahead and put this thing back together and uh probably go get a spark plug for it when it stopped raining and run this thing around the block but i'd like to say thanks for stopping in with me guys i mean if you want to go buy you a scooter and fix it up it'll be one it'll be cheaper than buying one that's already running and if you uh, know what to look for, you can get these things, or you know what to do, you can get these things running for very little dollars. Save yourself a heap of money and gain some transportation at the same time. Okay, gang, thanks for watching, liking, comment, subscribing, everything. We're almost at our goal of a thousand subscribers, so please, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. We'll be back on the ZY6.